What's up everybody, I'm Charles McBee. I'm a stand-up comedian right here in New York City and I am here to help you if you're a new comic uh, or, or new comic to the New York scene, uh, help you kind of get get your foot in the door in, in, in New York City. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me at Charles McBee uh, so I can help get my 12 subscribers up to, you know, like 14, 15. That'd be great. Oh boy, this one is gonna be a doozy. Um, this one might take a while. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how long this video will be, will be but we're gonna dive into it. This particular topic is, I won't say controversial, but it, it can be. There's so many comedians who have a different opinion than the one I'm about to give you, but. I will say that those comedians who have a different opinion, they're coming from an emotional space, an understandably emotional space, and I will explain that emotional space. Uh, and I am coming from it from a very practical, very unbiased space. And I have also been in that emotional space before, so I'm going to get all into it. Bas oh, I got my notes, as always. Um, bringers! Bringer shows. Should you do a bringer show? Are they scams? Uh, are they... Should you trust anyone who produces a bringer show? Uh, yeah, man. I got so many notes on this. Ugh. Ugh. We're getting into it today. First and foremost, if you don't know what a bringer is, um, a bringer show is a show where in order to get on said show you the comedian must bring a specific number of people right so if i'm running a show if i'm running a bringer show i'll say hey you want to be on the show great you have to bring six people you bring six people you get usually six minutes of stage time you bring ten people you get six minutes of stage time. You bring five people, you may or may not get stage time. And that's where it gets tricky. Um, bringing, you know, it, it depends on the show. Bringing, if, you, if they say bring six and you bring five, some producers will say, well, you didn't bring the six, so you're not performing. But then it gets tricky because you can say, well, I'm pulling my people, you know, they, they, some will rather have the five than not have any. Uh, they, it goes back and forth. It's up to you and the producer how y'all work that out. But for the most part, they're very strict on you bring a certain amount of people. Now, why is this so controversial? Because... Many comedians who have gone through the bringer process have been severely burned by producers who produce bringer shows. Um, again, with the example I just gave you, here's, here, the, you know, they, the producer says bring 10, they show up with nine, and, and they're like, hey, my friends are here, and they're like, well, you didn't bring 10, so you can't perform. Uh, but the your nine has already paid the cover and the two drink minimum. There is a cover and two drink minimum for all or well, most of the comedy clubs here in New York City, uh, all for maybe except one. So they pay, paid the two drink minimum and the, and the ticket, and they're there to see you, but you didn't bring tents, so now you're embarrassed because you don't go on stage or you can't perform or there's a th like uh, all that kind of that kind of stuff. That that has happened a lot. Here's Another thing that happens, and this is the probably number one reason why bringer shows are so controversial. Let's say I run a bringer show and I, I say you have to bring 10 people, right? You bring 30 people, right? Me, as the producer, you are my new favorite person. You bring 30 people. You kill because you got 30 people in the crowd cheering you on. And I immediately come up to you after the show or, or, or I email you. You are amazing. You are great. 
You're the next Eddie Murphy. I love you. I want you on my next show. I have to have you on my next show. You, of course, being a new comedian who is ecstatic that this producer is begging you to be on the show, want to say yes to the next show. But you brought 30 people last time and they don't want to come see you again. So now you only bring seven people. Well, you bring seven the next time, your ass might not go on stage. And you might be going, but I brought 30 the last time. Don't matter. And that's where the problem lies. Uh, for many, I've heard many occasions, it's happened to me, where you bring, you know, all your people, all your people, you feel help fill the place, but then that next show you do, you can't bring as many people and they're looking at you like, well, you might not go on. A lot of times those people don't roll over because you brought more than you needed the last time. So as the years go on, you become better. You hate bringer shows and anyone who runs them is evil, right? Right. I was the same way. Same thing happened to me back in the day. But this is what I will say, and this is the advice I give to younger comics who ask me, should I do bringer shows? The answer is, if you, the reason bringer shows exist is because you need stage time, quality stage time, not an open mic and, and not a bar show where it's four people. Quality stage time with real crowd, real people at usually probably a nice venue, maybe one of the clubs uh, in the city, um, and you're not getting booked. Maybe it's because you ain't funny. Maybe it's because you're not, and that's not a diss. Maybe you're just not funny enough yet. Maybe you don't have enough time. Maybe you only have six or seven minutes. Um, or, you know, maybe for whatever reason, you're not getting booked. So yes, you should do a bringer. Now, you should do a bringer with these tools in mind so that you don't get played, right? Here we go. Know that bringers, this is a capitalist society, right? It's all about competition. Competition, keeping each other in check. There is more than one bringer show in New York City. So use that to your advantage, okay? They have to compete with each other. So they're constantly trying to give you the better deal or the better reason to do their bringer show. Don't think they're just doing you a favor. No, you're doing them a favor by bringing your paying customers, okay? So if one show is saying, hey, bring 100 people and you can get five minutes of stage time, but another show is saying, listen, all you got to do is bring five people and you'll get the same amount of stage time. Plus, I'll give you a, a tape, which tape is called for a link uh, to your set. We just, because we're dinosaurs, we still use certain verbiage that they used in the 80s. So sending someone your tape is the, sending someone your link, right? Uh, YouTube link or, or video that they can download or, or whatever. Um, but they're, they're, they'll give you, they'll tape your set and, and you'll have a nice tape to submit to other things or to, just to have to upload to Facebook or whatever you want to do. Um, another show might say, you only need to bring it from my show, you only need to bring five people, you get 10 minutes of stage time, and I'll tape your set, and for each person you bring past five people, I'll give you a piece of the door. So use all these different things to your advantage. You don't just have to do one show because maybe it's at a fancy club that you want to say that you're performing at but they're giving you a crap deal, uh, you know, for what you're bringing in. So do your homework, and I'm not gonna put any shows on blast here. I'm not gonna endorse any shows here. You can follow me and and uh, DM me, and, and I'll kinda maybe 
give you some idea uh, of my personal likes and dislikes. But here, I'm keeping it very general. But do your research and, and find out which shows. Usually every club in the city has some type of new talent. They call it, the code word is new talent showcase. It's a bringer show. It's all a bringer show. But now they've changed because bringer has such a negative connotation. They change it to it's new talent showcase or new talent show, whatever. Uh, superstars of tomorrow, whatever. Bringer. Um, so you do your homework on the different shows and the different requirements and what they're offering you and see which ones work best uh, for you. Here's the other thing. Don't blow your load. Blowing your load means the example I gave earlier. If I say bring six people, do not bring 60. Okay? Because when you bring for the next show, I'm not rolling over that 60. This is the mindset of many producers. So bring six or whatever the, the, the number is you're supposed to bring. Bring that many. If you got 50 other people who are like, well, we want to come too. You say no, y'all can come to the next show and you come six at a time. Six at a time, right? That way, you're not blowing your low and you can extend your your time of doing, you know, doing the show. Because maybe the show is fire. Maybe the show is great. It's a hot show and a great club and you get a great tape and all this stuff. You want to be able to do it multiple times. So do only bring the certain number of people that is required for you to bring. Um, if it's one show, again, if one show over here requires you to bring 30 people and the show over here requires you to bring three, I would do the three. You know, that's just me. Um, because it's all about the stage time at the end of the day. What else? Notes. You can also bargain with the producers ahead of time. You say, listen, I got a ton of people who are dying to see me. Uh, and you can show and prove. Maybe the first time you bring, you know, six or whatever the case, whatever the number is. Then the next time you bring six, whatever the number is, maybe two or three times you're consistent. And then you come to the producer or, or maybe, you know, two times you do two shows and you bring the number of people. And you say, listen, I got more people that, that are coming to see me or that want to come and see me. But let's work something out. I'll continue to bring six, but maybe every other show you give me a guest spot. A guest spot is a spot on the show where you don't have to meet any of the requirements or any of that kind of stuff. You just, you, you're a guest on the show. So you do a regular spot on the show without having to go through whatever hoops and bells and whistles and rigmarole that everyone else has to go through. So you say, listen, I've been faithful. I've, I've you know, brought the number of people I was supposed to bring for the last couple shows. Now this show, or for the, maybe for the next show, can I get a guest spot? Or can I get a guest spot in the future? And then, and let's work, you know, let's work something out. For every two or three shows that I bring, give, throw me a guest spot. A lot of producers, you know, if you approach them the right way, will be down for that. There's like, if they, if they can, if they can bet on you um, bringing more people in the future and you've been consistent, then most producers will be down for that. So bargain, you know, use it, use this for your advantage. We didn't have someone telling us this and why we, I mean, all the comedians who are hate bringers and bitter about bringers. I no longer hate. I, I was there when it happened to me, but over time you realize this is a business. All right. Business. This is Show business, 101. So remember, producers of bringer shows, producers, period, bookers, period, club owners, they are not your agents. They're not your managers. They're not your agents. They don't give a blank about you, and they don't have to. It's not their job. Sorry, that's just the harsh reality. Um, they are there to fill seats. Fill butts in seats. So are some producers... A little bit of predatory, you know, got that predatory lending in it. 
Some, you know, will some come and play on your emotions because you're new and you're hungry? Some, unfortunately, but some won't. It's, it just depends. So, you know, it depends. But just know having have this in mind uh, will keep you from going through those hardships and will actually give you an advantage in this whole bringer show fiasco. See if there's any other notes. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So again, um, and I'm gonna just go off my notes uh, just to recap. So you know, don't blow your load. Uh, you know what? What are they offering you? Um, remember, they compete with other shows. So use that to your advantage. All right, they're not the only. Whatever show you stumbled upon, there's tons of other bringing shows. So compare and contrast. Um, uh, yeah, and you know they're not there to, they're not your managers, they're not your agents. You just they're there to fill seats. So only bring the uh, number of people that you're required to bring. Um, and that's about it. All right. So that's my take on bringers. I'm sure other comedians have. Plenty to say about it, but that is my unbiased opinion on bringer shows, a.k.a. new talent showcases. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and, uh, you know, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and all that good stuff. At Charles McBee. Uh, hopefully, I will see you on the comedy scene soon. All right?